At the risk of her safety, standing her ground by not denouncing her faith, she did what no one imagined that a girl her age would do. One year after, Lun Dabchi schoolgirl Leah Sharibu is still under Boko Haram captivity, even though her peers have been released. On this day in 2018, Leah, Leah along with other schoolmates, were abducted by the members of Boko Haram from the government school a government girls second science and technical college in Dapchi. But weeks after, families of the abducted girls were thrown into wild celebration after the militants surrendered the girls to the community, except for Leah Sharibu and few others who did not survive the ordeal. Today, we honor this young hero and encourage her family to not give up hope that their daughter will return to them safely. Joining us uh, via phone is the father of Leah Sharibu, Nathan Sharibu. And uh, joining us also via phone is the national coordinator, Bring Back Our Girls Movement, Edith Yasin. All right, we'll start with uh, Mr. Nathan Sharibu. Thank you for joining us th this morning. It's sad that one year after Leah Sharibu is still held back in captivity, but tell us how much support you have been getting from the federal government. Well, well, Ma, I have, did not get anything from the government up to now, except since last year when the president called my wife through phone and assured her that his administration would do his possible best to see that our daughter returned safely. Besides that, he delegated three ministers to my house in the chief open state to assure us that their administration are doing their possible best to see that our daughter returns safely. From there, I did have never heard anything from them again. And so what is the plan? Uh, because recently we saw Leah's mother and some other um, uh, foreign government organizations who were you know, trying to call the federal government to do more to support or bring back Leah Sharibo. Aside the government, who else has been showing so much uh, concern to ensure that Leah is brought back? And what is your final message to government with regards her return? Uh, the other government bodies that are having concern concerning my daughter is only the church and the Muslim brothers that are trying their possible best. But the government, I did not hear anything from them. I'm only pleading to them up to now. I'm pleading with you. I'm pleading as I plead as earlier as the time that they should do their possible best to see that this girl has been returned. She's a young girl, very, very young girl. And all of us, we have children in our homes. We have to imagine. The thing is very surprising. The government is supposed to do something urgently. But today, this girl is reaching one year. M Mr. Nathan Sharibu, thank you for your time with us on the show this morning.